A youth organization that has helped more than 700 young men, women and families since 2008 is being evicted and now looking for a new place to move into. Live 5 Skylar Hill is live from a Hanahan Fishburn campus to tell us more. Skylar. The Low Country Youth Services were told by the Berkeley County School District that they have until October 1st to pack their bags and put them in a storage facility. Now, this came as a surprise to the group, but they did know that there was a little issue that would come to the forefront. That's a memorandum of understanding. When we originally got into the space, um, there was not a formalized agreement. Um, that was something that we knew uh, when we got moved into the space in 2018 formally. We've been using the space since 2017. I took over as executive director in 2019. The first thing that I did when I took leadership was to reach out to the district, uh, to the leaders of the building at the time, to establish a formalized MOU. However, the attempts to get an MOU never came. And I think every you know, leadership that was in place somewhat just kind of moved the needle or kicked the can down the road. And we saw it as, OK, you know, we know we're doing good work. They appreciate what we do. You know, they've never charged us a dime and we appreciate that. Uh, but we didn't want a situation like this to happen. So we started asking for an MOU in 2019 and never happened. And unfortunately, when the leadership changed this summer, um, this was the result. Live 5 reached out to BCSD for comment about these claims, and they responded with three reasons. The space is needed for the expansion of our Head Start initiatives in Berkeley County School District. Secondly, the current occupancy of the Fishburne Education Center by the Low Country Youth Services was not in compliance with Board Policy FA. And thirdly, the organization did not have a current memorandum of understanding in place with BCSD. They go on to say, additionally, the potential for a 2023-2024 mentoring partnership between BCSD's Office of Student and Family Support and the Lowcountry Youth Services was discussed during the meetings. The district welcomed the potential for a continued partnership as reflected in the MOU outlining in the mentoring services and deliverables to our students. Lewis tells Live 5 that they tried countless times to come to a solution with the district, but the response was always stale. But they did not suggest a different place. Um, they did not um, offer other opportunities. They didn't even offer for us to be able to pay rent to stay in the space. They pretty much said, like, you can't afford to, to stay here, so we're not going to offer the option. The group says committed to finding a new location. They're actually working with CCSD right now to get that new location. Now, they encourage people to go to their website and look at the impact that they've had on young men and women throughout the years.